Hey everyone, I have a test of the three orders of insects, the true bugs, the hymenoptera, and the beetles. I thought it'd be neat to show you my flashcards I created to help me memorize this massive amount of families. So to start us off, we'll go with the true bugs. Heteroptera is one suborder. They have mouth parts arising from the front of the head. And they have a hemi elytra, which is a thicker nasal. Some of the aquatic heteropterans are the nepidae, which are water scorpions. They have a slender oval shaped body with long caudal breathing tubes formed by the cirrhosis. Corixidae are boatmen. They have elongated bodies with front legs that are scoop like. The notonictes, which is similar to the boatmen, commonly referred to as back swimmers, they have elongated oval shaped body as well, but their fore wings are elongated and thin, not scoop like. Gritidaes are also known as water striders. They have front legs that are raptorial, the middle leg arises closer to the hind leg, and they usually have two segmented tarsi. Some of the terrestrial heteroperans are the Mapidae, which are smaller assassin bugs. They have many close cells in their wings, and their front femur is slightly larger than the other femurs. Miridae's have a bent tunicus. They have one or two close cells, and they have no ocelli. Raphidilites have many veins on their hemilytra. They have ocelli and they have a four segmented beak. Chordates have leaf like tibias. They have a narrow head and a short pronotum. They have many veins on their wings and they have a long beak. Rejuvidates are known as sassy bug. They have a short beak that fits into the strulation groove. They often have an abdomen that's wider in the middle, and they have elongated heads. Tingidaids have a lace-like pattern around the dorsal side of their body, and their front wings are... Their front wings have numerous closed cells. Scutellidaes have a scutellum that extends to the tip of their abdomen, and they have no predominant lobe on the side of their protonotum. Pinnatomidaes have five segmented antennae. They have an ovoid or shield shape, which is spelled shield wrong. The side of their pronotum has a lobe. Another group of the True bugs is the anorenchyma, which have posterior mouth parts arising from the back of the head. Their wings are held tent like and they have short, bristle like antennas. Cicadidaes have bulging eyes and three ocelli and tarsal segments. Membrasids have a large pronotum that covers their head and extends to their abdomen. 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 And their beak does not extend to their hind coaxa. Ceramidae have a hind tibia with one or two stout spines, and they have a crown of short spines at the tip of the leg. All of these little hoppers have backwards slanted faces, which I spelled face wrong. Psychotelidaes are usually brightly colored. Their body tapers. They have one or more rows of spines on their hind tibia, and their hind coaxes are transverse. The last suborder, which I can't pronounce, have antennas arising from the front coaxa. This order 
is they have 10 segmented antennae and a thickened membrasted forewing, which is held tensely as well. Eight days are pear shaped and have posterior cornicles. On to another order, the Hymenoptera, starting with the bees and wasps. The Apidates are also the honeybees, the bumblebees. They have three submarginal cells, with the second one being shorter than the first. And they have elongated galia and glossa. Hermeses are also known as ants. They have elbowed antennae, and they have a knob on their first metosomatic segment, or pseudo abdomen. The Vespids are also known as yellow jackets have the posterior margin of their pronotum that is U-shaped, and their M1 cell is longer than their 1M plus CU1 cell. Pompilidae have a transverse sulcus on the side of their mesopleuron, their posterior margin of the notum slightly flattened U, curved shape. They have slender and long spiny legs. Mega chili days have a notch on their hind wing and two submarginal cells on their forewings. Spestidae have a lobe on their notum and they have a collar as a marginal of the notum. Matildidae are the cow killers. They are usually wingless, they are densely pubescent, and their pronotum is fused to their mesosmonum. And it's immovable. Apricot, not apricot, but this group is the parasitic wasp. Incumata have open cells on their front wings, which under their peristigmata create like a horse head structure, and they have two MCU cross veins, and they usually have over depositors that's long. The brachymaids have one MCU crossings, and they have open veins on their wings that do not resemble a horse head. This group is the thick waisted wasps. Then the Dirginae have ten or seven segmented antenna which are filiform, and they have one or two marginal cells. Cerisidae have a pronotum that is wider than long, their mesonotum has diagonal grooves, and they have a front tibia with one apical spur. The last order is the beetles, starting with the first suborder, the Apidae, Carambisidae have a strelated and punctured elytra and their head is narrower than their pronotum. The CNN endos have thin necks with forcep-like mandibles, long filiformed antennas, and they have a head that is wide or as wide. They have a head that is wider or as wide as their protothorax. Um, Destidaes are the first aquatic beetles. They're adapted to swimming, and they have filiformed antennas. Grenadaes have four eyes, at least they look that way, and they have their front legs that are longer and elongated and short back teeth. The last group is the polyphage beetles. The Cercium line days have a snout, and their antennas arise at about half the length of the snout. The Cercium longa days are the potato beetles. Their fourth tarse middle segment is concealed by their third, and they have punctuations on their elytra as well. The Cercium bison days are the pronghorns. They have elongated long antennas and their eyes are notched or divided. 
Yeah, for the early days or the rope beetles, they have a short and daily dress that doesn't cover their abdomen. And they have monoformed antennae, or to be slightly tall on the end. Tindamaridaes are the dark wing beetles. They have a tarsal formula of 554, and their antennas are usually 11 to 17. The Coco Sindels are the lady beetles. They are oval and concave shaped, and their head is concealed by their pronotum. The Elytra Elateridae group is the foot beetles. They have a post-sternal spine and a mesosternal group. Scarabicidae are the scarabs. They have a laminated antenna where the last three segments are fused together as a club or a plate. And the front legs are modified for digging. The hydrophilidae are the last of the aquatic beetles. They have a maxillary pulp. Their maxillary pulpae are longer than their antennas, and they have seven to nine antennomeres, where the last few are usually forming a loose tarsal toe club. And then they have some bonus families, which I'm going to name them. So the life. Lice and they have four segments of antennae and beaks, and they have spiracles on their abdomen segments, and they have ocelli. The large and have four segments of beaks as well, with no ocelli, and their protonotum is usually rounded laterally. The Arab days have no aurorias on their tarsi, and their wings are reduced. They also have four segmented antennas and beaks. They have the very tinier days. Have a femur that's broadened distillably. And their first segment of their antenna is longer and enlarged apically. Eupestids are a beetle, which have a flat head and are usually metallic. The Lucanidae have big jaws and one or two apical spurs on their front tibias. I hope this is all the bugs I need to know and all the families I need to know for my test. There's a few of them I found out that I didn't have it last minute, so hopefully I can pass this.